The Republican Party was built on the loyalty of white Protestant vote in the city, and that was about a third of the city's population. The, uh, a lot of the ethnic Catholic uh, communities, like particularly the Irish and, and the uh, Italians. Philadelphia was somewhat unique in having an Irish political machine that was a Republican machine, uh, Irish-led. Uh, and uh, the African Americans, even though they went for Roosevelt in 1936, in local elections they still were pretty loyal to the Republican Party, probably partly because it was some patronage for them as well. Um, but that, that whole coalition began to come apart under the pressure of um, sort of the liberal uh, regime that came in after uh, with Roosevelt nationally. Framers of the Charter were trying to modernize uh, and, and professionalize the city government. Uh, the Charter framers were led by um, uh, old line families in Philadelphia. They were Protestant led in a sense. They were not um, initially uh, allied with the Democratic Party, although by the time of the, the actual vote, the Democratic, most of the Democratic organization was supporting the charter as well as, uh, as the election of uh, Joe Clark as mayor and Dick Dilworth as district attorney. Um, they were trying to end the patronage system. They're trying to uh, create a strong mayor form of government, and we have a very strong mayor form of government in Philadelphia uh, compared to even cities that have a reputation for strong mayors like Chicago. Uh, institutionally, uh, our mayor has enormous amount of power. Uh, some features of the government were compromises with uh, the old form of organization. So we have at-large council uh, members, which is what the reformers favored, but we, but we also have a council that retains district council members.